Alright guys, today I'm actually working on old Xbox controllers, original Xbox controllers. These are the Logitech wireless controllers, because I always hated the wired ones. They had the little quick disconnect on them, and they'd always come undone when you're playing, and then the wire would start shorting out and throw it away. They're garbage. So, I went online, I tried to replace the Logitech controllers. I haven't been able to play this thing in a couple of years, because the analog sticks were broken. The, the, the character would just walk in circles on the screen and you really couldn't stop him from doing it. So I realized they don't sell new ones anymore. And the used ones, working or not, are about 55 to $70, which is absolutely ridiculous. Just completely, just, they're out of their minds. So what I did was I got on eBay. First, I got a pack, I actually had a pack of eight of them, analog sticks for Xbox controllers. Of course, these aren't the ones that are in the Logitech ones. The main body and the potentiometers on the outside, these are the same, but as you can see, these sticks are not. So what I have been doing is just unsnapping the potentiometers from the box, desoldering them, and changing them. So, another note, I got something fun in the mail today. I ordered the cheapest desoldering iron on eBay. And when I say desoldering iron, I mean the one that actually heats up, not just a solder sucker. I got a desoldering iron, and it was, I believe, $14.63. So, let's get this thing open. Alright, switching to the bench cam. Got. Ooh, actually, that's not that terrible looking. Looks pretty good. The tip is a lot smaller than I would have thought, but it's not interchangeable, so that's gonna come back to bite me down the road. But that's not the point of this video. One, I've never owned a desoldering iron. Two, I just wanted to just get one that vaguely passes as a usable tool. This had decent reviews, so seems to work. At least that aspect of it. Let's get the wire untied. Set it on our silicone mat. Plug it in. The breaker didn't kick, so I'm going to say this might actually work. Alright, I'm going to give it a few minutes to heat up. I'm going to move anything out of the way that might actually melt, like the controllers I've already fixed. If this thing works out, I'm going to go ahead and start replacing the analog sticks in our Xbox 360 controllers because uh, those are really messed up. <laughs> well, so far the silicone mat's holding up. I also got this off eBay, it was pretty cheap. It's a little silicone work mat for soldering and stuff. I think it said it was for like cell phone repair or something. We put all these little screws and crap up here in these little sectioned off areas. Almost looks like an old lunch tray. You can just put your mashed potatoes and some corn up here. A little bit of gravy. Well, it's taking solder. Get the tip ready. This is kind of an incredibly difficult shot to get, especially since apparently I have lost my little tripod. So what you do is you depress the little bulb, you squeeze it, you go up to a solder joint, like this one, and you will heat it up just by dropping the little nozzle over it, and then suck it off. Look at that! Then to clear it, you just come over here and just blow the solder out. So, I can now clear these three. Gosh, I wish I had this when I was still fixing arcade games. This would have been perfect for those monitor chassis boards. Dang.
That's a lot of pins. So in theory you should be able to just take a new one drop it directly in its place and then just go over all the pins man this would have taken me a long time um, with a regular soldering iron what I had to do is I actually had to cut the top of these apart split the walls out desolder the wall pull one wall out pull this out pull that out piece at a time and now I don't have to do that anymore that is really cool. So my overall opinion of the cheapest desoldering iron on eBay is go grab one of these. I mean, it doesn't have interchangeable tips or anything, but it gets the job done. I mean, these things are real little. I'm sure, yeah, there's a lot smaller, like if you're working on cell phones or something, that's probably not ideal for that, but if you're just repairing like game controllers, game consoles, stuff like that. Fixing a, a board in your flat screen TV. They tend to need repair every now and then. Especially on the X and Y board and power boards. You gotta love TVs. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I realize that it's really, really, really cheap. And I'm sure any serious hobbyist would have negative comments, but anyone else just starting out in the field or could really use something like this go pick this one up all right well that's it for now stay tuned as always and thanks for watching